All right, last video, final uh, escape from side control video is gonna be twister side control. So let's get into the position real quick. We'll talk about what the difference is between this position and the last position. So Trey now is, uh, has taken this arm from between my head and my shoulder to underneath my arm. Okay, really good opportunity here for entering leg locks. He can also step very easily into the mount from here. So we'll talk about what we're gonna be looking to do from here. So first things first, I, again, similar to the last position, I need to make sure that my arms don't get too extended over my head. Trey's gonna do that by walking his hips up high. The, the more my elbows get above my shoulders, the, the more exhausting this position gets. So first thing I gotta do is scoop my body down all the while making sure that you know, when my, when my feet are on the mat, that tray doesn't just step right into the mouth. So from here, what I'm gonna to look to do is take my right arm and I'm gonna turn in and kind of get like almost belly to belly or lap to lap with Trey. So I'm gonna turn into him and shoot a nice little tight waist here. Okay, once I get this tight waist, I'm gonna bring my left elbow out, put my forearm to the mat and start building my base. Very similar to like a technical stand up here. Once my head gets high, I have a lot of opportunities to kind of move into like a front headlock, um, depending on what Trey's reaction is. But what I like to do from this position here is I'm just gonna sit, come around the corner, drag my right arm by, come to the other side of the shoulder here, and then I can connect my hands, get a nice seat belt grip, pull to my side, and immediately throw my hooks in, score my points, maybe rotate into a body triangle. So it's just an interesting opportunity of escaping twister side control and getting into a really nice back take opportunity or maybe a scramble opportunity. Um, and uh, we'll do it again. So one more time, I'm in twister side, my elbows are high. So the first thing I gotta look to do is start to scoop my body down. So I have a little bit more of an opportunity to actually uh, uh, flex my torso and come up. I'm gonna turn into Trey and shoot a tight waist. And as I get this tight waist, I build my base. I come onto my elbow and then push up onto my forearm so that I can start to lift. With Trey on my hips here, it's very easy for me to lift his body weight up and get my head higher than Trey's. Now again, from here, I can maybe look to go to front headlock, but I have a lot of space here and I can see Trey's back. So I'm gonna sit to my hip. I throw my arm by, come around to his shoulder. I shoot my seatbelt. And then that is ultimately what I would like is just go right for a modified body triangle or a full body triangle. If I'm in a competition, I might want to just get my hooks in and score my points. There we are. But if I want to secure a little bit better uh, control, a body triangle would be a little bit better. So let's just do it one more time, a little bit, a little bit quicker. So twister side, I'm walking my, my forearms are in the trays back and I'm walking my body backwards so that my elbows don't get over my head. I reach, get onto my forearm, and I'm turning my hips into Trey. That allows me to heist my hips up. I can use my forearm to build up onto my, uh, my hand. And now I sit, throw my hands over, and I reverse the position, take the back. Kind of using like an octopus guard style reversal. Um, again, might initiate some scrambles, but we've got a back take opportunity, front headlock opportunity, really opens up some, some doors to us if we're stuck in bottom. Twist your side.